Happy Saturday morning, everybody. It is 7.15 a.m. I am headed with two cords around wood on the trailer to go deliver. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the back there, but the trailer's hooked on. Um, we're going to go back and work out and cutting some firewood with Gramp. Gramp is on his third log truck load since Tuesday that he's working on right now. Um, he showed up just a short bit before I got ready to go. Um, I told him I'd come back, help him stack, and he said he was fine. He didn't need any help. So, <laughs> and when I get back, I'll uh, I'll give him a hand stacking, um, and we'll we'll do some cutting and stacking with Gramp. But let's go get this delivered first, guys.
Just as quick as he came, he left. <laughs> I'm finishing stacking what was left there. Um, Gramp says his big echo saw is not running right. So I'm gonna bring that back to the dealer Monday. Um, I think it just probably needs to be readjusted again. This is some awesome mix of firewood. There is a little bit of everything in here. Um, had a lot of comments, why don't you use a hookeroon? Well, I'm sure for a little bit of firewood, a hookeroon is fine. But to keep up with Grant with a hookeroon is a completely different story. It's taken me a month of being self-employed and another 10 pounds down <laughs> to be able to try to keep up with Grant. I figure each of the rows that we cut is about a cord and a half. So there should be roughly four cords there. Gramp gets about a cord out of a tank of gas and his saw, I get about three quarters because I don't push and I don't bear down as hard as he does. Um, <clears throat> but I want to know from you guys on YouTube, I've heard lots of good things about rip saw and their 550 converted to a 3H chain. Trying to find something lighter for Gramp that will still cut at Gramp's pace. Because there's one whole load missing, but he's cut. Everything that's in this yard in just this week in just two or three hours each morning. So conservatively, right now, I'm saying he cut 20 plus full cords. I've got some down here left to stack. He, he pointed that out to me earlier. And I said, yes, I know. So I'll, I'll get that stacked. <laughs> but at 78 years old, cutting 20 full cord a week, it's more than a lot of guys do. It's more than most guys do. Um, it's more than I would do. And I want to try to make it easier for him. He likes a saw that turns up. Everybody says his saw is running lean. His saw is not running lean. He's always got his finger on the trigger. It's a bad habit. <laughs> when I was a kid, I don't think the saw ever completely came to an idle ever once he started it. And he would wear chainsaws out in a hurry. But it's what he does. It's what he likes to do. He loves to cut firewood. He just, you know, I like it, but I don't know if I like it as much as he does. <laughs> I know for me, early in the morning, memory that I will have for forever is walking out, seeing the steam rolling off of him and just the smell of the wood yard, the smell of the saw, the smell of the firewood, the smell of the sawdust, the smell of the everything that's around. It's just one of those scents that if I could bottle it up and I could make a lumberjack cologne, that would be a lumberjack cologne, and I'm telling you right now, I, I don't think there's a better smell. Um, there's just something about a cold, cool morning and that smell in the yard. And, you know, like I said, Gramp's 78. He's not getting any younger. I want to try to make things as easy as I can on him because he still wants to do it this way. But those big saws are a lot, and I can tell that they're a lot. Um, he's slowing down a little bit, and I say that with a grain of salt because we're still cutting a pile of wood. Um, I think he said we've gone through 36 or 38 truckloads since May 1st. Um, I'll have to go back through and look at my records, but if he says it's 36 or 38, he keeps track just as well as I do. <clears throat> so we're moving wood and he wants to still keep doing it. So I want to let him. 
So if you guys have any suggestions, I don't mind decking important saws and working them right up. I just need something that's going to be reliable and that will hold up to Grant because he's a little hard on the equipment. Um, we're going to send out some 600 SXs. Probably going to send out a 7310 if the dealer can't get it fixed the way he wants. I don't care about the warranty at this point. I want it to cut. Look at that sky, guys. That's gorgeous. But I want to I wanna get him what he needs. So if anybody's got any suggestions, I don't know if he'll run a steel. I don't. And I don't want to spend a bunch of money on a saw that he's not going to run um, because he runs the saw a whole lot more than I do. I'll be getting into the woods, but I really like my 600 SXs and I'm going to deck and port those. They're a little heavy, but they're very, very reliable. So drop a comment, guys. Let me know. I know I rambled along there for a little bit, but remember, a little bit every day goes a long way. Help someone if you can, and we'll see you on the next one.